What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, we just picked up this house in Chandler, Arizona for our client. Four beds, three baths, built in 1980 with 1687 square feet. Now, this house is in the heart of Chandler, Arizona. It was listed for 600000 because it's been fully remodeled. Okay, 600000 fully remodeled inside, uh, new paint outside, etc. But we were able to pick this one up for 580000 Now, we are in the heart of Chandler. Okay, in the old older part of Chandler, not the newer part of Chandler, but we are right across Intel. This house, if you go to the backyard, you can actually walk to the Intel in the Chandler site right there off of Chandler and uh, price right there. So uh, that's why they're excited. She works in Tempe. He works in with Tokyo Electron. So they're excited to move into their new place. But I wanted to give you this tour of this Chandler home here, uh, built in 1980, 1687 square feet. Once again, uh, four beds, three baths. So let's go take it, this fully remodeled house. All right, so let's take a look at this house. It's been fully remodeled, like I said. Uh, nice fireplace. I like the design up here. Uh, they did put the wood planks all on the floors here, as you can see here, uh, right to the left as you have the stairway walking up to the bedrooms but i mean just look at this beautiful kitchen here uh they got the quartz countertops right here nice and solid and beautiful beautiful backsplash uh right here let's just check out that design um it goes all the way around the kitchen and cabinets they go all the way to the ceiling so you have a lot of cabinet space as well you do have uh stainless steel appliances they came with with the offer and of course undermount sink gotta love that and you also have uh, self-closing doors which is awesome so if you have kids um, look at that little uh, wall design contemporary design right there with the six panel so that's pretty cool nice light uh, great job on the paint job as well but this is the space you're gonna be getting for probably around 580 under 600,000 in the heart. So this is the heart of Chandler, okay? So this is like Old Town Chandler, you could say, where Intel is at, right here, right across in the Chandler site. Uh, nice carpet, okay? And then just check out this bathroom. It's been, this house has been totally fully remodeled. So you can see it's just an older house, a little older neighborhood, no HOA, and that's something what they wanted. Uh, but this house is, is ready to go, moving ready. And uh, right, so I really love the idea of this right here in the laundry room. Uh, my, real, my wife liked the table because you know how you get the ironing board. So right here, you can actually do whatever you need. You can fold, iron the kids' clothes, I can iron my clothes, whatever it is. But she really does like the wall design, how bright it is. And also uh, right here, this little bench. So you can iron, fold clothes, little design of the hooks for the backpacks for the kids. A uh, little shoe storage area. And what's cool about it here is all the way to the garage that they have this uh, chalkboard. So you can actually put some notes for the kids like, hey, don't forget your gi, don't forget your backpack, don't forget your shoes, don't forget your lunch. So that's pretty cool. One thing I didn't point out is the vaulted ceilings, as you can see here. Uh, the ceilings are really, really high, so it makes the space, space wide open. And then we're gonna head up the stairs and let's take a tour upstairs. All right, so here is the guest bathroom, fully remodeled as you can see here. They did a really nice job. Double pane windows, of course, all over the house. And uh, yeah, this is the guest bathroom right here. Looks gorgeous, like it. All right, so we call this the blue room. This is the blue room adjacent to the bathroom. And this bathroom is the Jack and Jill where you can go to the other room as well. And let's make our way to the master. Now here is the master, really, really good space. They already have, they left the brackets there uh, for my clients so they don't have to patch any holes. And let me give you a tip about these brackets. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so just a tip on the selling side, okay? If you're selling a house, what you wanna do is you wanna leave the brackets in and just go buy new ones when you move because if you take them off, they're gonna leave all the holes in the drywall. Well, per the purchase contract, you gotta, you gotta fix those holes. And it's a pain in the butt to try to fix those big holes, patch them up, and then try to texture it, sand it down, texture it, and try to match the paint. So I always tell my sellers like, hey, are you really, really in love with that bracket? Now, if you are, I get it, but it's a lot easier if you just leave them in when you're selling your house so you don't have to do more work for yourself because then you gotta be a drywall expert. You're gonna have to call somebody if you don't wanna do it. So just a tip on the selling side, if you're selling a house and you have brackets, 
just leave them in. All right, let's check out the master bathroom. All right, here's the fully remodeled master bathroom. What's up, YouTubes? How you doing? Don't forget the subscribe button and that bell. Come on, help me out. Help this channel grow. But look at uh, look at this flooring. Very, very nice. And it goes all the way into the shower. Uh, nice. They did a wonderful job. Took it all the way up to the ceiling. So they did a wonderful job. Hey, so do me a favor. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That bell. To get notified when we drop the latest video. I mean, I'm just bringing Johnny Cash with me. <laughs> T-shirt I got up over here in uh, in uh, Sedona. So yeah, help the channel grow. Hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna bring you some more content, uh, some more houses, the housing market updates, etc. But let's go take a look at the backyard. All right, so don't freak out about the backyard, okay? We got some grass here. The owners left. <laughs> it's been overwatered. So let's go look at the jungle. All right, so here's the backyard, folks. Look at they have a planter here. So my clients love this because. His wife is going to plant herbs, etc. But this yard is really, really big. It's about 8,400 square feet. And look at that. Ooh, welcome to Arizona. So yeah, beautiful house, uh, beautiful backyard. Like I told you, the grass, okay, it's been overwatered, so it needs to get cut. He'll do that once he comes in, but it does have a newer AC unit, so that's a good thing. And they did a wonderful job in the remodel. Uh, that's what his backyard is going to look like. So he has one two-story back here. Single story, single story, single story. So really, you can't really knock it. If he puts a pull in there, he'll have some privacy. Uh, no HOA, which is a good thing. And the one thing he likes about this is his big RV gate. So, you know, he can park his camper trailer, all his toys, all the way back here in the back. So that's uh, a great selling point for him over here in Chandler, Arizona. All right, so you're probably wondering what this little snake electrical stuff is right here, right? Well, they had a spa and my client was gonna purchase this spa, but he was like, man, I live in Arizona. Do I really need a spa? So the seller sold the spa and now we have this electrical stuff we gotta take off, which comes up and around and back down to its own breaker. Spas are okay if you're like up in Sedona, Flagstaff, maybe for the winter time. It doesn't get really too cold over here in the winter time for a spa. So if you're coming from the Midwest or the Northwest or North like Chicago, uh, Washington, Seattle, don't really need a spa, okay? What you really need is a some grass or a pool. Hey, so I get it, you know? Buying a house is difficult here in Arizona. I am not gonna kid you because we were outbidded about four times till I found them this property and we were able to get them under contract. So with that being said is it's still difficult even with interest rates rising, you would think that with interest rates uh, going down, right? That the market would soften up. Well, it's just crazy right now still how much these properties are going for over list price. Okay, this one, the reason why we went with this one is my clients were looking for about 550 and below. So I told them like, hey, I found this property, it's 600,000 listed, but it's fully upgraded. And I told them it's overpriced. I think we can get it for about 20 to $30,000 less. And the reason why we went this route is because the competition is so much when you're trying to bid up. But if you increase, this is a pro tip, if you increase your price and try to bid down, there's a lesser competition because people can't pre-qualify up to that amount. Now, my clients were actually pre-qualified up to like 650. They just didn't want to go that high. But we found a higher price point and then we bid it down and we had a little bit of competition, not as much as we were when we we're getting outbidded at 450 to 500,000 and above. So we were still going up to like 550. So we picked this one up for 580. It was $30,000 more, but we didn't have a bidding war like we were doing with the other properties. Now, the subject of the matter, this is the heart of Chandler, okay? Chandler is tough to get into, okay? You're gonna be like minimum 500,000. And that is not being totally remodeled or fixed up. You might get lucky and find a house if you can outbid people. But this one was for 600,000, we picked it up for 580. And this is exactly what it looks like here in Chandler, Arizona for 580,000. Basically under 600,000 is what you're looking at. It's built in 1980, an older home, but it's been fully remodeled. It's got good bones, got good structure, great location. My clients loved it. 
and we're able to pick it up. So that's the exciting part, okay? The not so exciting part is interest rates. I mean, we they are at 5% buying this house, okay? So we have been babied with these interest rates for such a long time and it's difficult and I get it and I understand is um, as Americans, we've been babied for a long time at two to 3% rate. Well, now that two to 3% rate is the 5% rate. And you're probably gonna say like, man, Victor, this is too high. I'm gonna wait for the interest rates to go down. Well, I purchased my first house at six and a quarter and that was in 2001, okay? Now, of course, my first house, I was young, didn't have great credits. I had about 680, I think it was. First time home buyer, didn't know what I was doing. I was out here in Phoenix on my loan, like a wandering generality, just being like, hey, I'm just gonna buy this house and see what happens. And then I started getting smarter and smarter and smarter, right? Investing in real estate. We all rent a portfolio. We have rentals, okay, cash flow. We do real estate full-time, not part-time. So when you talk to me, I'm a full-time agent. I respond to my text messages. I pick up my phone calls. I respond to my emails, okay? Just a heads up. Because when you work with part-time agents, I don't want to I don't want to throw you under the bus, man, but you guys are always in meetings. I'm in a Zoom meeting. I'm in a meeting with another client. I'm in a meeting with my lender partners. Basically, they're saying they're at work. Okay, so just a heads up if you're looking for a full-time agent down here to, to do some work for you. But with that being said is, I get it, you know, it's, rates are high, prices are high. Do I see it slowing down? Well, that's what we're gonna get into when I get back to the home office. I wanna give you the Chandler Market Report with this video. So if you wanna stick around, you better, you better. I will come and get you. And you know what I'll do to you, you know, cause I, I put out some, I think I put out some good content for you guys. It just, I don't know, sometimes you guys just don't love my style, my Johnny Cash style. But anyways, let's head back to the office. Let me give you the Chandler, Chandler Market update with this video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour, but yeah, 580,000, 1980, uh, four beds, three baths, fully remodeled right across the Chandler Intel site. Great location. It is an older home, so older subdivision, but it's very quiet here. Um, I love this place. But anyways, I like the design. My wife liked the design. She liked the kitchen design, the bathroom design. So we'll see what happens if we could do some, some stuff like this to our house. Let's head back to the office and get you into the Chandler Market Report so you can understand where the Chandler Market, real estate market is going up, down, steady, whatever it is, but let's go do that right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are here back at the office and thank you for coming with me on the tour of our new client's house in Chandler. So we're excited about that. They are excited as well. And uh, what I wanted to get into here at the office with you, if you're still with me and I hopefully you still are, is we're gonna get into kind of like the Chandler housing market kind of so I can let you know exactly what's going on. Um, my office is in Tempe, I'm not too far from Chandler. I know Chandler very, very well as of course, if you probably know this, as I used to work at Intel for 16 years in the Aquatil site, I've been to the Chandler site, so I know that area like the back of my hand. So with that being said, let's get into, first of all, I'm gonna show you some listings price points of what you can buy what's out there via the mls system that i use that i let you access so you can take a look at some homes so with that being said let me screen share this and let's get right into this all right ladies and gentlemen so here i am gonna be looking at the screen here but this is everything that we have in channel available now let me uh, get into the specifics here and follow my mouse right now we have eight listings for sale in chandler these are all active listings okay everything that's available as of today as i shoot this video as you see this video as the date of the video so make sure you look at the date below now we went from list price from zero to five hundred thousand so I'm telling you, first time home buyers, any kind of home buyer coming in from out of state, et cetera, your first, your target price is 500,000. Now we are doing detached. There's no condos, no townhomes, no, nothing like that, et cetera. We are doing single family homes only in Chandler. And I always tell my clients is you kind of want to be like at 1500 square feet and above, just in case you want to keep it as a rental in the future. That is some like great space for somebody starting out as renting a property as a family, right? Um, we're starting at 1500 square feet, two garage spaces. So you have eight listings to choose from, from as low as 476 
and as high as up to 500,000. Now you're probably saying like, what do I get for 476, Victor? Well, this is what you're gonna get for 476 in Chandler, Arizona. And the highest price house is 499. Uh, they just had a price reduction. Look at that price reduction. So, you know, you're seeing, like I told you in this video, is we were able to get this this property uh, 20,000 below uh, asking price. But this is 499 right here, what gets you in Chandler. Um, here's another one in Chandler for 497. That's an open door. Um, let's see here. This one's for 495. This one looks really nice for 495. Okay. Now let's look at this one for 490. I looked at one here that was really nice for, let's see what that price range was. This is 490 as well. 485. This one has been fully remodeled. This is a real, I think this is the property that I was looking at here. Um, yep. This is a pretty nice here for 485. What are the specs on this one? Uh, this is a 4-2 with 1548 square feet, okay? So this is exactly what you're looking at. Here's another one that's been fully remodeled. This one's actually the, the nice one that I was talking about right here, located in Chandler for 485. It's a 3-2, 1500 square feet, built in 1979. It's over a quarter acre lot. Let's look at where it's at on the map. So this is exactly what you're gonna be looking at here. Let me just make sure everything is on the screen here. You're gonna be on Elmo School and Elliott, a uh, very, very nice area. So right here in the heart of Chandler. Now, what I wanna do is show you uh, the sweet spots. So we're gonna change the price point from 500,000 and we're gonna increase it to about 800, oh, not 5.8 million, hold on, 800,000. So this is your sweet spot is 500 to 800,000 in the heart of Chandler. And you can see there that we got 73 listings. Okay. 73 listings. Now this square feet is going to be above 1500, but this is where you got to be at. And you're probably going to go, probably going to have to go a little bit higher as far as a bidding war out here. Uh, things are tending to slow down. I think a little bit here, not too much, but you have, these are all the options right here. So you have 73 options in between um, five hundred and eight thousand, eight hundred thousand dollars. So that is your map. That's what you're looking at, right there as far as Chandler. So if you're coming from a different state and you're looking to be in Chandler or needing to be in Chandler, then this is your sweet spot. Sweet spot. Your sweet spot is between five hundred thousand and eight hundred thousand. So let's get into some graphs here, so you can show you exactly what's happening in the market. If it's trading, still trading up. Is it trending down or is it staying stable? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I subscribe to the Cronfed Market and this gives me a lot of information just to share with you for free. I pay money for this to give you what's happening with the market. It keeps me um, really balanced. It keeps me, actually gives me a lot of knowledge of what's happening in the real estate market because I don't wanna sell you a house or I don't want you to sell your house in the wrong time of the market. So we need to see what's going on in the shifting. So the first chart I wanna show you is the Cromford Market Demand Index. Now, if you see this line, which is 100, this means that demand is normal, okay? So right now we are at a negative 77.6, okay? And if you read up there, so those below 90 are lower than normal, meaning that demand is weak. So this is telling me that, hey, there is not a whole lot of demand in Chandler right now. So what is making Chandler prices go high? Well, it's the supply index, okay? So the supply index is right here. It's at 16.4, okay? So it's crazy. Like at 100, it'll be normal, right? So we have a long ways to go up to, the, to 100 as far as the value of the score. So that's why demand is so high in Chandler, Arizona is because our supply is so low and that it goes across all the states right here. So just think about that. We're at an, at 16.4 as far as supply and we need to get to a hundred to have a normal market in Chandler. So demand is weak in Chandler, but the reason why is prices are soaring is because of supply. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the next chart I wanna get into is the Cromford Market Index. Now, this measures three points, okay? If it's a buyer's market, seller's market, or a normal market. So let's get into this chart right here. So at a hundred, we are pretty much at a normal market, right? No buyer or no seller has the advantage of that person. But as you can see, is we are above 
100 we're at 471.9 so that means that we are still a high high sellers market and until we come down to this 100 point this this 100 score this value we are still in a high sellers market and you can see it's been like this since 2020 and look at this oh my gosh seven seven in chandler 784.7 was the highest <laughs> to date as a high sellers market then it trended down but still i mean it's trending a little bit further down i think it might come down projected probably around 300 but we are still a high sellers market so if you see a house that you like and that you want you're gonna have to still go all in now the federal government is trying to do as much as possible to slow down inflation and prices etc but we have a long ways to go here in chandler arizona and especially with intel building those new factories okay and we have a lot of businesses moving in a lot of people are just moving here like mad to phoenix arizona and we got we got tsmc coming in taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company coming up in north phoenix um they're building massive subdivisions everywhere in buckeye and santan just trying to keep up with the housing but we have stopped building since 2008 when the crash so the permits don't justify the amount of houses that will be available for the population here in arizona so just keep that chart in mind is that we are at again 471.9 we have to get down to 800 to be a normal market and we are still in a high sellers market all right so the next chart i want to show you for my channeler peeps because you know you want this information is the sales price per square foot so let's get into this chart real quick and uh, let me zoom in for you guys so you can see what's going on here. So as you can see here is we were in 2006 at the highest peak at $186.67. Now look at this price per square foot. If you guys, if whoever bought here in February of 2011 at $89.43, you made a perfect decision, my friends, because, oh my gosh, look at this price. It has gone up and we are now at $294.76. Um, and that's with 328 sales. Now, this is all single family homes, no count condos, no townhomes, no apartment flats, etc. This is all price ranges in all these zip codes 85224 85225 85226 85248 249 and 286 and this is going back all the way to the year of 2000 so that chart is kind of scary and uh, we don't still see it slowing down but just keep an eye on it if you have any questions you can reach out all my information is below so the next chart i want to get into here for you guys my friend is hold on let me see here. We're going to get into the monthly average sales price because you know you want to know, hey, if I'm going to retire, let's just say in two to three years, does it make sense to sell now? Enjoy my retirement, travel the world, move back where my children are at so I can be close to the grandkids and just stop working. Because sometimes, you know, you get to that point where you're like, man, I really just want to retire. I want to relax. I want to catch the baseball games. I want to travel the world, etc. And if I sell my house, this allows me to take all my money, do what I want to do while I'm young until I get older and not able to do what I want to do and go buy something where my grandkids are at, where my kids are at and hang out with the family. Believe me, I've helped two clients like that saying like, man, I'm, I can retire right now. If I sell my house, pack up my stuff, I'm going to go travel the world. Then I'm going to go buy something cheap, uh, downsize buy with my children so I can be close to the grandkids. And that's something just to think about it if you're getting into that close to retirement age. So here we are, monthly average sales price. Okay. Now in January 12th of, of 2012, okay. Oh. Did it change on me? Don't change on me. It changed on me. Hold on real quick. Let me put this back on Chandler. Time me out here. Give me a second. Okay, let it kick back. Okay. In 2012, it was 188,367. Now, the monthly average sales price right now is 616,531. Now, the reason why I say like, hey, if you're in that bracket where i'm like okay i'm looking to get retire soon okay i'm looking to retire soon 
Well, if you bought your house back in 14, the year 14 or 16, right? Or even 2011 or 2012, just look at all the equity you have, right? Now you can be, yes, we can all be greedy. So like, I'm going to hold off and wait till this market goes up. But I mean, if you can make yourself three to 400 grand or maybe even half a million from right here, you can retire and enjoy your life. Like I said, uh, moving with close to your kids to be with the grandkids or you just don't, you know, you just want to travel the world, enjoy the fourth quarter of your life. Then that's something you should consider and we should talk about and see what exactly is your game plan and your target. Once again, my friends, I'm Victor Worth, a local real estate agent, mentor, and investor here in Phoenix. All my information is below if you want to reach out. Hey, but do us a favor. You know, we need that help with that YouTube algorithm. They changed it again, and now we got to get a couple more um, snakes, rattlesnakes involved so we can increase our views and push it out to the public. So click that uh, rattlesnake there, that like button, and click that other rattlesnake, that subscribe button, uh, and that bell so you can get notified once I drop the latest video. I mean, I'm just bringing you the market updates, uh, home tours, city tours here in Arizona if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in some real estate. Or if you're moving into the state or relocating, we love the opportunity to to work with you and help you and guide you and mentor you on your next purchase or your next sale with that being said victor Huerta, and we'll see you on the next video if you have any questions email me at victor at freeagentproperties.com again that email address is victor at freeagentproperties.com where we release new videos each week on home buyer tips home seller tips the Phoenix housing market updates so you can be mindful when you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate. We will talk to you soon.